And now remembering 9-11. Saturday marks two decades since the day that changed America forever. Many of us remember exactly where we were when the planes flew into the Twin Towers. I was working right here at CBS 4 News. Well, slightly different for me. I was in Miss Adams' fourth grade class. We had early dismissal that day. My father picked me up, and I remember everything so vividly. But most students today, they weren't even born That's yet. Right. So we decided to learn more about how 9-11 is being taught and how teachers are bringing it beyond the textbook. As you guys know, we're going to begin talking about September 11th. Mm -hmm. This year marks the 20th anniversary. Stephanie Hernandez teaches middle school at Somerset Gables. Difficult lesson for the day. They know the gist of it. They know how the Twin Towers fell and the buildings collapsed. Many people passed. But I don't think they know exactly why it happened and what caused it to happen and why it affected us. For many who remember September 11, 2001 so vividly, it can be hard to grasp that young students like these 11 and 12 year olds may not have the same kind of connection. For them, this isn't a current event, it's a textbook history lesson. I think at first they were a little, a little bit apathetic as to, oh, we've already learned about this, why do we need to continue learning about it? But as I've begun talking to them, I think they have been able to understand why it's important and gains a little bit more feelings towards the subject. Ms. Hernandez teaches a fictional book from the perspective of a boy their age. She also plays a video that shows a cartoon depiction of 9-11. All told, 3,000 civilians lost their lives that day. It was the worst attack on U.S. soil since the bombing of Pearl Harbor. All students at Somerset Gables, starting in kindergarten, take part in a yearly moment of silence. Her goal now is to show them why and why it still matters. It's quite crazy how many civilians and officers inside and outside of the building tried helping. Florida doesn't have a set standard for teaching about September 11th or the war on terror. The State Department of Education says it's largely up to the teacher's discretion. But they do follow high school United States history standards, which include learning about foreign and domestic terrorism and the global impacts. Be prepared to defend your policy against criticism from other groups. Meanwhile, a more advanced discussion over at FIU in Professor Ryan Fonseca's class. It's re regarding the pullout of, of Afghanistan troops um, currently by the Biden administration. So whether or not it's a good policy decision to do that, whether or not we shouldn't pull out, or whether or not we should actually send more troops. His students are holding a mock debate. We believe that it's not okay for us to remove from Afghanistan without having a clear plan. We need to remove full troops out of Afghanistan 100%. Even though they're college age, a similar challenge in this class. Many students were only a year or two old or not even born yet. So he's showing how the attack wasn't just an incident 20 years ago. Rather, it caused a series of events that still affect us today. There's no doubt that 9 11 had incredibly consequential impact on American foreign policy. It led to America's longest war, with the ending playing out in recent weeks, something they were witness to. This is how we continue to maintain, uh, you know, some understanding of, you know, historical important, you know, uh, historically important events that have occurred in, in sort of the American security context. From the earliest understanding to applying the lessons through a modern lens, 9-11 was a day that changed and continues to change the course of American history. Now, according to CBS 4 News, only 14 states actually require 9-11 instruction. Florida is not one of them. Well, you know, they say if you don't learn from history, right. you are forced to repeat it, and that is so true. And if they can do it at an early age, a way right. that's appropriate, that's the key. And thankfully, I think these teachers and this professor introducing it and explaining more of the emotion and the personal connection to it, I think, really resonates with those students. So important. All right.